the only bear branding game in the world today. What's going on, guys? Harry just ran off my lap. She doesn't like to get picked up at all. You know, nothing too long than this, but I'm going to be breaking down how I got into baseball in the first place and how it's became my number one passion to this day. The earliest age I could remember getting into baseball was probably around eight to nine years old. My mom first introduced me to baseball and she introduced me to the Giants who I was lucky enough to see win three championships in five years during my childhood. And those were some blessed times, some unforgettable moments. Got to skip school and go to all three parades. In two of those years, I got to sit up front in front of City Hall to watch them all talk and, you know, hold up the trophy. So it was really awesome to um, see that. I don't even know when their next championship is going to be. My grandpa was definitely in the picture as well when it came to getting me into the sport. He played a little bit of semi-pro baseball, a little bit of college ball as well, and he's been an avid baseball fan his whole life, a uh, huge Dodger fan. So <laughs> you can see how, you know, those phone calls, those FaceTime calls um, all go out when we talk about how our teams are beating each other. So around the time I started getting into it, I didn't really have much friends yet. So I was born in San Francisco and then lived in Las Vegas for a short period of time when I was younger before eventually moving back. At the moment, I didn't really have any friends. So my mom um, got me into this Catholic Boys and Girls Club in the North Beach neighborhood in the city. And it was hard to fit in. And I was picked around a little bit. Was around snobby kids who families had a little bit of money, maybe a lot more money than where I came from. We used to throw tennis balls, played a little bit of tennis ball, baseball game at that club on the blacktop, just basically with a tennis ball, no baseball. And I remember the kids used to come up to me and say, they used to say that I sucked <laughs> and that some of them didn't even think I would make any team. That right there was the point where I felt like it woke me up into how this journey became the way it was. I had kids that doubted me since I was nine, 10 years old, tried ruining the sport for me saying, Oh, you don't, you don't know anything about the giants. You can't play baseball. You suck. You can't throw, you can't hit, you can't run. I still remember to this day, of every moment, every kid has came up to me and said that. Once in a while, too, I'd be running into some of those people, and I get to tell them, even though it's only been Juco ball, I haven't played at my four-year yet, but I got to say that I played college baseball. I feel like that's the biggest flex. A lot of people didn't think I would be in the position I am right now. I feel like I still have a long ways to go, and because of the doubt I had in my childhood and made me push to wanting to play the game more um, just to prove myself right more than to just prove somebody wrong. It was just a fun sport. I got into it because it was fun and it still is.